In a remote Zen monastery nestled amidst the mountains, there lived a young monk named Tanzan. Tanzan was known for his dedication to Zen practice, but struggled with a persistent feeling of dissatisfaction. No matter how hard he meditated or studied, he felt as though something essential was missing from his understanding. One day, Tanzan decided to seek guidance from his master, the venerable Zen teacher Ekido. He approached Ekido with humility and expressed his frustration, confessing, Master, I have been practicing diligently, yet I cannot seem to attain true enlightenment. My mind feels like a stone, heavy and impenetrable. Ekido listened intently to Tanzan's words, then offered him a simple yet profound task. Go to the nearby river and meditate upon the flowing water, Ekido instructed. Contemplate its nature and observe how it interacts with the stones in its path. Intrigued by his master's instructions, Tanzan followed his guidance and made his way to the riverbank. Sitting beside the flowing water, he closed his eyes and began to meditate, focusing his attention on the gentle rhythm of the stream. Hours passed as Tanzan sat in deep contemplation, feeling the cool breeze against his skin and listening to the soothing sounds of the river. Suddenly, a realization dawned upon him like a bolt of lightning. In that moment of clarity, Tanzan understood the profound lesson that Ekido had imparted. Rushing back to the monastery, Tanzan sought out Ekido to share his newfound insight. Breathless with excitement, he exclaimed, Master, I have discovered the truth. Just as the flowing river wears down even the hardest stones over time, so too can persistent practice and patience dissolve the stone-like mind. Ekido smiled warmly at Tanzan's revelation, acknowledging his growth and understanding. Indeed, my dear student, he replied. The path to enlightenment is not always easy, but with perseverance and an open mind, even the most stubborn obstacles can be overcome. From that day forward, Tanzan approached his Zen practice with renewed vigor and determination. He understood that true enlightenment was not a destination but a journey, and he embraced each moment with a sense of curiosity and humility.